it raises the question of whether this is a typical comet, a natural object, or maybe something technological. On September 25th, a colossal wave of solar plasma, a coronal mass ejection, slammed into an object surrounded by a gas cloud half the size of the sun. But it didn't shatter. The object, known as 3I Atlas, held its ground. This wasn't the first time it had faced our sun's wrath and won. Now, a wild new theory is emerging from the shadows, suggesting this interstellar visitor isn't just surviving our sun's fury. It's harnessing it for propulsion. And the most shocking part is, some scientists fear its movements aren't random at all, but are guided by an alien intelligence. The object that defies physics. In the cold, silent theater of space, something is moving that shouldn't be. It's called 3I Atlas, the third interstellar object ever detected by humanity. But unlike the others, this one is different. What many overlooked when it was first discovered is its sheer scale. The core object itself is hidden, but it has generated a colossal cloud of gas and dust that is staggering in size. Measurements put this dusty plasma cloud at over 430,000 miles in diameter. That's more than half the diameter of our own sun, you see, comets are supposed to have comas and tails. That's normal. As they approach the sun, ice on their surface turns directly into gas, throwing dust and debris into space. But the gas cloud around 3I Atlas is behaving in ways that have left astronomers completely baffled. On September 25th, a powerful wave of charged particles from the sun, known as a coronal mass ejection, or CME, struck the object head on. An event like this should have ripped its tail apart or caused the entire structure to ripple and destabilize. It's a well-documented phenomenon called a tail disconnection event. But that's not what happened. 3I Atlas seemed to absorb the blow. It held its ground, its massive plasma shield barely flinching. This resilience is unheard of. This event forced a radical, almost forbidden idea into the minds of some researchers. What if that gas cloud isn't just a passive tail of debris? What if it's a shield? Or even more bizarrely, what if it's an engine? The data suggests the object is exhibiting what's called non-gravitational acceleration. In simple terms, it's moving in ways that can't be explained by the pull of the sun and planets alone. The standard explanation is that jets of gas erupting from a comet's surface act like tiny rocket thrusters. But for an object this massive, the forces required would be enormous, far greater than what simple gas jets could provide. The evidence is pointing to a conclusion that many are scared to even voice, that the object is using its enormous gas cloud to generate propulsion, sailing on the solar wind like a cosmic ship. But if it's generating its own propulsion, that implies something far more profound. It implies purpose. It implies control. This object isn't just tumbling through our solar system by chance. It's navigating. Its current trajectory has been raising even more red flags. It's following a path that keeps it almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk where all the planets orbit the sun. This is the area with the most concentrated flow of solar wind and energy. Is it a coincidence that this object is perfectly positioned to ride these currents, or is it a deliberate choice? The questions are piling up and the answers are leading us further away from simple astronomy and closer to science fiction. The strange behavior of 3I Atlas is just one piece of a much larger and far more disturbing puzzle. What astronomers just witnessed may be the key to understanding its true nature. Are the stars aligning? While 3I Atlas continues its baffling journey, other strange events have been unfolding across the solar system, events that at first seem completely unrelated. But not all things are what they seem. When you line up the timeline, a chilling pattern begins to emerge. It began with a flash, hundreds of light years away. Two separate nova explosions, V7994 Sagittarius and V1935 Centauri lit up our night sky, blasting waves of high-energy X-rays and gamma radiation across the cosmos. This wave of intense, highly vibrational light washed over our solar system. It was an event of immense power, but one that most people on Earth never even noticed. Just a few days later, on September 26, something much closer to home reacted. A different object, a comet known as C2025R2 Swan, suddenly underwent a significant outburst. It flared up, becoming dramatically brighter almost overnight. This comet was following its own path, minding its own business, when it suddenly erupted with activity. 
Astronomers logged it as an interesting but random cometary event. But then, less than 48 hours after that, our own sun seemed to join the performance. From a sunspot group that was almost perfectly aligned with the position of Comet Swan, the sun unleashed the biggest solar flare seen in months. It wasn't just a random solar burp, it was a directed burst of energy, and it launched a massive coronal mass ejection straight out into space on a direct collision course with Comet Swan. So let's recap this cosmic domino effect. Two distant novas send out an energy wave, a comet flares up, and then the sun fires a flare at that exact comet. Many people are crazy about finding patterns, but this sequence is too precise to ignore. It's less like a series of coincidences and more like a coordinated solar system-wide event. This is where the story comes back to our mysterious visitor, 3 i Atlas. Could this interstellar object be more than just a passive observer? Is it possible that it is acting as some kind of cosmic conductor, orchestrating this strange symphony? The idea sounds absurd, but the alternative, that all these events lined up perfectly by pure chance, is almost harder to believe. What if the initial energy from the Novas was a trigger, and 3i Atlas, with its immense plasma cloud, somehow amplified or redirected that energy, influencing the behavior of both Comet Swan and even our own Sun? We are talking about forces on a scale that human science is only just beginning to comprehend. The connections are speculative, but they paint a picture of an object with capabilities far beyond anything found in nature. An object that doesn't just exist in the solar system, but actively interacts with it. If it can influence comets in the sun, what is its ultimate purpose? A sail made of plasma. To understand how 3i Atlas could possibly be a machine, we need to talk about its massive gas cloud. Officially, it's a coma, made of what's called a dusty plasma. In simple terms, it's a mix of gas and dust where the dust particles themselves have picked up an electric charge. This isn't that unusual for a comet. What is unusual is how this particular cloud interacts with the sun. When a coronal mass ejection, a billion-ton cloud of solar plasma, hits a normal comet, it's supposed to be catastrophic. The magnetic fields in the CME should slam into the comet's fragile tail, twisting it, tearing it, and sometimes ripping it off entirely. But, as we saw, 3i Atlas is not a normal object. Instead of being dismantled, its dusty plasma cloud seems to be absorbing and channeling the energy. This has led to the development of a radical theory of alien propulsion. Imagine a sailboat. Its sails catch the wind and push the boat forward. Now imagine a sail not made of cloth, but of magnetized plasma, and a wind not of air, but of charged particles blowing from the sun at a million miles per hour. This is the concept of a plasma sail or a magnetic sail. An advanced civilization could theoretically create a massive magnetic field to hold a cloud of plasma in place, using it to catch the solar wind for propulsion. The most shocking fact is, this isn't just theory. The physics behind it is based on a field called magnetohydrodynamics, and it's something humanity is already exploring for future spacecraft. However, 3i Atlas appears to be using a version of this technology on a scale we can barely imagine. Its 430,000 mile wide cloud isn't just a sail, it could also be an energy collector. When a powerful CME hits it, the object isn't just deflecting the energy, it might be harvesting it. The sheer amount of power in a single CME is mind-boggling. More than all of humanity's power generation for an entire year, delivered in a single blast. An object capable of capturing and storing even a fraction of that would have a nearly limitless source of energy. This would explain the non-gravitational acceleration. It's not being pushed by little gas jets. It's being actively maneuvered, using our sun as its personal fuel station. This alien engine would allow it to change course, speed up or slow down, making its journey a deliberate and controlled traversal of our solar system. The technology required would be godlike from our perspective, but for a civilization millions of years more advanced than our own, it could be standard engineering. They wouldn't need to carry fuel, they would simply live off the land, harvesting energy directly from the stars they visit. It's a terrifying and awe-inspiring thought an object, a vehicle, silently powering up in our own backyard. If it is a machine with a nearly infinite power source, who built it? A divided community. The official scientific consensus on 3i Atlas is cautious. It's a highly unusual, active, interstellar object, likely a comet with very strange properties. But behind the scenes, in private emails and closed-door meetings, the conversation is much more dramatic. 
The thing nobody tells you is that the scientific community is deeply divided. Publicly admitting the possibility of alien technology is a career-ending move for many, but privately, they can't make the numbers add up. The object is too big, too resilient, and its movements are too strange. This isn't the first time this has happened. Many people are crazy about the story of Oumuamua, our first interstellar visitor. It was a small, cigar-shaped object that also showed non-gravitational acceleration. Top astronomers, including the head of Harvard's astronomy department, Avi Loeb, went on record stating that the most plausible explanation for its behavior was that it was an artifact of an extraterrestrial civilization. He was largely dismissed by the mainstream. But now, with 3i Atlas, it feels like Oumuamua was just the opening act. Atlas is exhibiting similar anomalies, but on a scale that is thousands of times larger and more profound. Many of you watching this are probably wondering if this is true, why aren't we hearing about it on the news every night? Are we missing a key detail? The thing is, this isn't an alien invasion happening overnight. This is a slow, methodical arrival that is unfolding right before our eyes, hidden in plain sight within astronomical data. The possibility of alien control is so far outside the accepted framework of science that it's easier to invent increasingly complex natural explanations than to consider the obvious. If 3i Atlas is a probe under intelligent control, we are forced to ask some deeply uncomfortable questions. What is its mission? Is it a peaceful scout simply gathering data as it passes through, or is it something more? An object with the ability to harness the power of our sun could be capable of anything. The possibilities are as limitless as they are unnerving. This silent panic among those in the know is growing as the object gets closer to a key date, October 21st, when its geometry with the Earth and the Sun becomes very, very interesting. It's a date that also curiously lines up with the closest approach of Comet Swan. We are watching a mystery unfold, a silent spectacle playing out across the vast, cold emptiness of space. Through the lenses of our most powerful telescopes, data streams in from an object that defies classification, a cosmic enigma taking shape before our very eyes. This celestial puzzle is challenging everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. Our most fundamental theories of physics and creation are beginning to fray at the edges, humbled and rendered inadequate by this silent, majestic anomaly. The mathematics makes no sense. The patterns follow no known laws. The question echoes in observatories across the globe, whispered in hushed tones between astronomers. Is it a magnificent, undiscovered natural wonder? A symphony of cosmic forces on a scale we have yet to comprehend? Perhaps it is a process of stellar birth or death so rare we are the first to witness it. Or is the silence itself a message? Is it something more intentional? A prelude to a revelation that will change humanity forever? We stand on a precipice of understanding, staring into the deep void, waiting for an answer. That answer will either confirm our profound solitude in the cosmos or shatter it for all time, irrevocably altering our destiny among the stars and forcing us to confront a universe far stranger than we ever dared to imagine. Is 3i Atlas a freak of nature, or are we witnessing the deliberate arrival of an alien intelligence? Let us know your theories in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.